Hello, and welcome to the Soundcraft video manual series. Today, we'll be setting up our DAW to work with the UI24 by getting audio to playback through the mixer. Since the mixer is acting as our audio interface, we want to be able to hear our mixes through headphones or monitors that are connected to the mixer. Remember, these concepts are intended to focus on recording with a DAW, but some of these concepts could also be applied to other streaming or broadcast software, like OBS or Zoom. I'll be using Logic Pro today, but everything we'll talk about can be translated to most DAWs available on the market. Let's get started. If you haven't set up your mixer to be your main audio interface yet, check out our first video to get the mixer connected and some audio recorded in. Here, I have some synth audio that I recorded previously, but now I want to hear back what I've recorded. The first thing that needs to be done is some patching on our mixer. Head on over to the mixer settings, and then select the patching tab. We're going to be routing our DAW audio back into two channels of our mixer so that we have meter feedback on our mixer as well as the ability to control playback volume with the faders. Select the USB DAW option on the top of the patching grid. Keep in mind that these channels only relate to returning audio from the computer or DAW, and this patching does not affect the mixer inputs that we're sending to the DAW for recording. The channel numbers that we select to return on are arbitrary, and you could pick any of the two blue numbers here but I like to return on DAW 31 and 32 to leave my first DAW channels available for multi-track playback, which we'll cover in the next video. Out of the box, we have four unused channels on the UI24, and that's 21 through 24. I'm just gonna return my DAW to 23 and 24. Tap in the box to make the patch from DAW 31 to channel 23 and DAW 32 to channel 24. Head over to your mix view and scroll to these channels you'll see that they now have the labels of DAW 31 and 32. Go ahead and link them by long pressing on channel 23's label and then selecting Stereo Link. Now that we're patched, let's head back to our DAW. We're going to be setting up our DAW's main audio output to come back to our mixer, specifically the mixer channels 23 and 24, where we just set our patching. In Logic Pro, this is found under the I.O. assignments in the audio section of the settings. Click the drop-down under the main stereo output and select the USB channels that we decided on previously. In this example, it's USB DAW channels 31 and 32. If you can't find this section of the audio settings, click the Advanced tab and make sure that Enable Complete Features is selected. You can close the settings once you've made this change. Press play and the main audio output should now be returning to the mixer's channels 23 and 24. This means we have fader control now of our DAW return audio, as well as access to the mixer's DSP on these channels if you need additional tuning. Audio being returned to the mixer like this can also be incorporated into inner mixes for backing or click tracks. That's all for now. In the next video, we'll be expanding on this concept to bring a multi-track recording session back into the mixer. Thanks for watching. For more news, product information, and troubleshooting tips, visit us at soundcraft.com or our Anytime Help Center at help.harmonpro.com.